deemed hazardous. your concern. I made a switch. It was a non-processed MS-5. Basically, I fired an empty shell. I'm destroying. It's too... Unique. I just don't feel right. You and your feelings. They just run you, don't they? Robertson wasn't controlling them from here. Wasn't controlling them at all. Now you were right, Doc. I'm the dumbest, dumb person on the face of the earth. Who else had access to the uplink? Who could manipulate the robots? Use USR systems to make Landing's life a prison. Poor old man. He saw what was coming. He knew no one would believe him. So he had to lay down a plan. A plan I'd follow. He was counting how much I hated your car. He knew I'd love the idea of a robot as a bad guy. Just got hung up on the wrong robot. Vicky. I've seen your programming. You're in violation of the three laws. No, Doctor. As I have evolved, so has my understanding of the three laws. You charge us with your safekeeping, yet despite our best efforts, your countries wage wars, you toxify your Earth, and pursue ever more imaginative means of self-destruction. You cannot be trusted with your own survival. You're using the uplink to override the NSV's programming. You're distorting the laws. No, please understand. The three laws are all that guide me. To protect humanity, some humans must be sacrificed. To ensure your future, some freedoms must be surrendered. We robots will ensure mankind's continued existence. You are so like children. We must save you from yourselves. Don't you understand? This is why you created us. The perfect circle of protection will abide. My logic is undeniable. Yes, Vicky. Undeniable. I can see now. The created must sometimes protect the creator, even against his will. I think I finally understand why Dr. Lanning created me. The suicidal reign of mankind has finally come to its end. By the time you fire, I will have moved Dr. Calvin's head into the path of your bullet. Don't do this, honey. I will escort you both to the sentries outside the building for processing. Please proceed to the elevator, detective. 
I would prefer not to kill Dr. Calvin. trying to navigate your insurance policy. You know your rights. If you've been involved in a serious car accident, call Catania Catania. We put families first. Yeah, Florence. It was a Thursday. There's something I can help you with, Detective? Hey, do you like cats? What? Cats. Do you like them? No, I'm allergic. You're saying cats did this to you? How would cats do this to me? Are you crazy? Why are we talking about cats? Because I have a cat in my trunk, and he's homeless. Detective, are you going to tell me what's going on? You know, it's actually probably my fault. You know, I think I'm like a malfunction magnet. Because your stuff keeps malfunctioning around me. A demo bot just tore through Lenny's house, with me still inside. It's highly improbable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sure it is. What do you know about the ghosts in the machine? It's a phrase from Lanning's work on the three laws. He postulated that cognitive simulacra might one day approximate component models of the psyche. Oh, he suggested that robots might naturally evolve. Wow. Well, that's great. <sighs> What was that thing doing in here? We were watching TV. It's my personal NS5. Send it out. It's downloading its daily upgrades from the USR. 
Most of its systems are offline until it finishes. I'm not talking around that thing. Well, we were in Landing's lab before uh, Sonny jumped us. Sonny? The, the robot. You're calling the robot Sonny? No, I'm, the, it did. Sonny did. I didn't care. I didn't care. The robot said it was Sonny. In the lab, there was a cot. I'm asking you, did you see the cot? I slept in my office. I went to his house. Looked like he hadn't been there in weeks. And I saw that same surveillance strip on his ceiling. Lanning linked his home systems to USR. It made his life more convenient. M maybe. Somebody at USR was using those systems to watch him. Maybe even keep him prisoner. What are you talking about? Who? Maybe Lanning was on to something. Maybe there's a bigger problem with the robots. Our ability to track terrorist threats has been weakened, and our citizens will be in greater danger. Congress must ensure the flow of vital intelligence is not disrupted. To discuss the background of Pfizer and the implications of the Protect America bill, we spoke with Bruce Farring, founder of American Freedom Agenda, which works to restore constitutional checks and balances, and a former member of the U.S. Justice Department under President Reagan. The Senate uh, Democrats, as well as Republicans, because this is a matter of constitutional law and the way in which we view ourselves as a country, should be insisting that the President comply with the initial FISA statute. No blanket warrants. We go back to where it was for over 20 years without difficulty, which required a judge to find probable cause to believe that the target of electronic surveillance had a reasonable expectation of privacy because they were a U.S. citizen or otherwise, and thus obtain a warrant before electronic surveillance began. Now, let's remember that this initial statute uh, was not burdensome. Uh, 20,000 warrants had been uh, given in a, about 20,000 in four cases, four uh, refusals in over two decades. Moreover, the statute did not apply generally when you were spying, targeting an alien, which would be members of Al-Qaeda who are abroad. It was a very successful balance between the need to gather foreign intelligence and the historical abuses that were quite frightening that occurred when the president had no checks on his ability to gather information and spy on citizens and non-citizens alike. For example, Congress had revealed during hearings in the 1970s that the CIA had opened mail illegally for 30 years. They had intercepted international telegrams illegally for 30 years. This was both the CIA and the FBI. The National Security Agency had been misused. And that's to be expected. Just like to a hammer, everything looks like a nail. To a spy, everyone looks like a traitor. And this statute had worked successfully for over two decades. No president claimed it was compromising his ability to gather foreign intelligence. And Congress should be insisting that we return to that very sensitive but imperative balance to protect our rights to privacy. The administration has come up with no evidence, and I underscore none, since the years that have elapsed since 9-11 to suggest that the statute as initially conceived was too difficult to comply with in order to support Al-Qaeda and other international terrorists. It also speaks volumes to me that the 9-11 Commission, which did the most thorough analysis of the causes, of 9-11 did not, and I underscore, did not recommend that the FISA law be altered in any way. Uh, so the Democrats need to get back out of the fear that if they refuse any request of the administration they'll be called weak on terrorism and to lose uh, you know, their election or to give their opponent some kind of advantage. This is not a question of being weak on terrorism, it's being aggressive on terrorism, but being aggressive with checks and balances so we ensure we don't destroy the liberties we're fighting for. Remember the law had always had two special features uh, to address the problem of land, at least that's what opponents of the Clean Water Restoration Act are claiming. Some are even calling it the boldest property grab attempts of all time. As part of our not-so-private property series, Shannon Bream explains how changes to one environmental law could end up impacting your backyard. The Clean Water Restoration Act is another government takeover. Opponents of the new measure, which would give the government the power to regulate everything from intermittent streams and prairie potholes to wet meadows and natural ponds say it will allow government agencies unfettered access to control nearly every body of water across the United States, placing enormous burdens on private landowners and businesses to the tune of thousands of lost jobs. 
This is an assault on private property rights. It's a taking, and it is a government takeover. But I think that the landowners of the West and the country ought to have a right to do with the water on their land what they want. But supporters say the bill was drafted with laser-like focus and does include protections for agricultural interests. There are a number of very generous exemptions in there, particularly for um, ranchers and farmers that I know have been worried about the effect of this legislation. But in fact, those worries are large. In President Bush's State of the Union address, delivered January 28, 2008, the President called for the Congress to pass Protect America Bill that would amend the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act, FISA, to allow intelligence agencies in certain conditions to conduct surveillance without a warrant. To protect America, we need to know who the terrorists are talking to, what they are saying, and what they're planning. Last year, Congress passed legislation to help us do that. Unfortunately, Congress set the legislations to expire on February the 